Studies show that after age 20, our flexibility declines by about 10% each decade. So having a dedicated stretching routine is important to maintain and improve flexibility over time. Having a dedicated stretching routine can improve your physical performance in the gym, decrease your risk of injuries, and increase blood flow to your muscles, which can lead to increased muscle growth and reduce soreness and inflammation. In this video, I will be going over the three most effective stretching routines for a push-pull legs workout split. As a general guide on how to stretch every muscle per week, having a consistent and frequent stretching routine is best for long-term flexibility. When it comes to the intensity of stretching exercises, it was established in a 2009 study from Wyan and colleagues that stretching at lower intensities from around 30% lead to greater improvements in range of motion rather than at an 80% intensity, where 100% is stretching where it is most painful. So when doing a stretching exercise, stretching as hard and painfully as you can may actually limit your gains in flexibility. From a study done by Bandy and colleagues, the study determined 30 second holds of static stretches as a minimum threshold for improving range of motion. Another study from Palma and colleagues determined that stretching for 5 times a week with a total time of 5 minutes per muscle group per week as the optimal frequency and volume for stretching each muscle. For when to stretch, it is generally recommended to stretch at the end of a workout when your muscles have been warmed up rather than stretching before a workout, since static stretching before workout can actually decrease your performance. And if anything, it will be better to do active stretching rather than static stretching before working out. For this stretching routine, we will be combining these protocols to stretch every muscle in the body for a total of 3 minutes per week by doing 3 sets of 30 second holds for each muscle twice a week. So we will be stretching each muscle 6 times a week for 30 seconds. If you want to reach the recommendation of 5 minutes per muscle group per week from the study from Palma and colleagues, you can simply increase the amount of sets or double the duration of each exercise that I do from 30 seconds to 60 seconds each set. Now let's move on to the stretching routines that you can do after your workouts for a push-pull leg split. On pull day 1, we have 5 different stretches for the lats, traps, upper back muscles, biceps, rear delts, and obliques. On push day, we have four stretches for the chest, front, and side delts, triceps, and abs. On leg day, we have five stretches for the quads, hamstrings, lower back, calves, glutes, adductors, and abductors. To perform these routines, I would recommend going through each stretch for 30 second holds, then cycle through them three times to get three sets of 30 seconds for each muscle group. I like to use Grin and Gain to time my stretches by using its built-in interval timer feature. Grin and Gain is a social fitness tracking app that I've been developing that helps you passively track workouts, get insights, and do much more. The first 30 testers that complete 30 workouts get lifetime access to the app. So if you're interested, go to gridandgain.com to get early access to the app. Now for this first stretching exercise, we'll be stretching the lats and the obliques. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to find a door frame. And you want to grab with your underhand grip for your first side that you want to stretch. And for the other hand, I like to rest it on my side, right by my side. And what you want to do is you want to emphasize like twisting and trying to get your head beneath your arm. And this should get a nice stretch on your lats and obliques. An extra tip that I forgot to mention for this stretch is to cross your legs to activate your lower body to help with the twisting motion of the stretch. Now for these next two exercises, we'll be stretching the upper and middle traps. To stretch the upper traps, what we're gonna do is we're gonna get one hand, rest it on our head and pull. Gently pull, don't pull too hard. You don't want to strain your neck. And after doing this, we're going to try to push our shoulder down, our other shoulder down, to get a nice and good stretch on the upper trap muscle. And after doing it on this side, we're going to do the other side for 30 seconds. And we could roll it out. Now to stretch the middle traps, what we're going to want to do so we're going to try to get our middle traps at its most stretched out position. So what we're going to do is we're going to push our arms out like this right in front of us. And we're going to try to push out and stretch out our middle traps by pushing our shoulders forward and try to like round out our upper back. Then this should get a good stretch on the middle traps. 
and maybe a bit of the lower traps. Now to stretch the rear delts, what we're going to do is we're going to cross our arm across our chest like this. And to emphasize a bit more of the rear delts, you can put your palms facing down to get more of the emphasis on stretching the muscle fibers of the rear delts rather than side delts. Now for the biceps, what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to push our wrists outward and put it right here like this. And what we do after getting into this position is we just lean back to get a stretch on the biceps. If you want to target the forearms with this stretch, what we can simply do is we twist our arms around and lean back in this position. This can be a bit of a stretch on the wrist as well, so just be careful with that. Now those were all the stretches for your pulling muscles. Now we're moving on to the pushing muscles. Now to stretch the front belt and the chest, what we're going to do is we're going to get into a position where we're lying on our stomach and we're going to push one arm out and twist our body in this direction right here and push to get a good stretch on our chest and our front delt. To get even more of a stretch, what you can do is you can bring your arm up and try to push back to twist your body open. Now we do the other side for 30 seconds. Now stretch your triceps, you're gonna put your arm like this and grab your elbow. And what you want to focus on is you want your bicep to be engaged throughout this stretch and try to pull with your other arm to get a good stretch on the tricep. Now to stretch the side delts, what we're going to want to do is the same thing as the severe delts and we're just going to cross our arm over across our body and pull by the elbow. Now to stretch the abs, what we're going to do is we're going to get down on our stomach and push up, but leave our hips on the ground. Now those were all the stretches for your pulling and pushing muscles. Now we're moving on to the legs. Now to stretch the quad muscle, what you want to do is you want to lay down on your back. First lay down on your back, kick one knee 90 degrees, and pull your leg back by the ankle. The reason we keep our unstretched leg at 90 degrees is to reduce lumbar flexion of the spine which can be a bit of a compensation with this stretch. Now to stretch the hamstrings and the lower back, we'll be doing this exercise right here. One tip I forgot to mention with this exercise is that if you want to emphasize the lower back a bit more, you can bring your knee closer to the opposite so shoulder as I'm showing here. Now for this stretch, we are stretching the glutes and abductors, which is your outer thigh. I like to add a bit of a twist with this stretch by twisting my torso about my hips to emphasize the abductors a bit more. This next exercise is an abductor or inner thigh stretch. One way to increase the intensity of the stretch is by pushing down your knees with your elbows in this position. For the final stretch, we're stretching the calves. To stretch the calves, you want to push your toe against the wall with your heel touching the ground, then try to lean forward. You will definitely crease your shoes with this stretch, so don't wear your favorite sneakers or leather shoes when doing this exercise.
Now that was the most effective routine for how to stretch every muscle in the body for a push-pull leg routine. If you want to see more content like this, don't forget to like and subscribe. If you want to get early access to the app at Grin and Gain, go to grinandgain.com or, cl or click the first link in the description. Now thank you all for watching, I'll see you guys in the next one.